I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to open up the vlog yet. I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. I need my coffee, I haven't started yet, but we've been up since five, left LA at like six. We're here in Palm, or in Indio right now, which is next to Palm Springs. We're headed to Thermal. It's a Lamborghini track day. She thirsty, she a thirsty girl. <laughs> Just left the gas station. He got 10 miles to the gallon cruising on the freeway on the way here. If you're ever wondering why I'm living on the streets <laughs> two years later, it's because I'm spending gas on a supercharged V10. Dude, seriously. Now the white girl in us wants some Starbucks. So. <laughs> Started a drink. <laughs> we made it! Just dropped the car off a vehicle inspection, got my coffee, I'm gonna go get something to eat. So, the second that we pulled up, like three people ran up to me, they're like, You can't film here, this, this, and that. And okay, it wasn't as aggressive as I just made it sound, but. I guess they're being super strict on not filming here, but I guess they had a bad experience with some YouTubers and because of it's a Lamborghini and O'Gara and their clientele, they said no vlogging. But I believe everything happens for a reason and I walked over to where the members are at. I Honestly, once they told me I couldn't film, I was starting to panic, but this worked out perfectly. Long story short, one of the instructors from the BMW Michelin event who recognized me said what up and introduced me to these guys, particularly the one with the SUG, so let's take this opportunity <laughs> and do a sick review, you guys. I'm so happy that this worked out. All right, I'm gonna, show me how to use this. <laughs> All right, so, gentle, gentle, gentle. What's the top speed? Uh, you don't want to know. Oh, there. Okay guys, this is what I'm really excited to show you. Have you ever seen this car in person? This is an SCG 003S. A Scudiera Cameron Glickenhaus is what the SUG stands for. Kind of a mouthful, I know. But this is amazing. It's beautiful. This SCG 003S puts about 750 horsepower to the crank. Zero to 60 in under three seconds. And a top speed of 240. Oh my goodness. This company essentially built a race car and realized, hey, we want to do a street legal version. In order to do that, they had to make a few modifications, such as this whole car, chassis, body, everything is carbon fiber. That's expensive to damage on such a low car. So what they did, you guys see this piece of wood under the front carbon fiber lip? It runs all the way across the back, and this is EPI. This material of wood is used on F1 cars, and it's one of the strongest woods out there. So I was asking, I was curious, you know, if someone were to just destroy that as opposed to the carbon fiber, how much would that cost? Well, Mr. Glickenhaus himself told me it's about $500 to replace, which is nothing if you guys know how much it costs to damage a carbon fiber lip. <laughs> Another really awesome thing are the aerodynamics. The hood's up, so it may be a little difficult to see, but the cars no longer want the air running up and over the car. They want it to go in and around. So if you follow these lines, it goes in through here, 
all the way around and under this wing. She's with downforce of 1,500 pounds at a speed of 155 miles per hour. Keep in mind the top speed is 240. You have a 21 inch wheel supported by Michelin tires, two piece rotor, and a ceramic Brembo caliper. Something that is also really neat is in the rear, they have a second caliper for the parking brake. In order to make this street legal too, they have to have side view mirrors. Well, they decided to put cameras on each side so that you can see it inside the cockpit. The side view mirror actually eliminates wingtip vertices, which are gonna be the little, the, if you were to look at air in a wind tunnel, it'll spin. This side view mirror will eliminate that, so it's a clean line, and that's actually what helps put down the 1500, just a little bit over pounds at 155 miles per hour that I was telling you guys about. Sitting inside this rear mid engine is a 4.4 liter reverse flow twin turbo V8. I would pop the hood for you guys but the whole piece comes off as one. I am not gonna mess with that right now. <laughs> and in case you guys are wondering about transmission, I know, mind the crowd. It's a seven speed sequential transmission, so this thing is a beauty. The suspension is a three stage suspension, so you do have travel of about four inches if you need help getting over speed bumps or curves, etc. Also, there's your third brake light. They had to put titanium plates in order for the exhaust not to melt the wing. <laughs> I will not let you know if that was because of trial error or not. <laughs> the carbon fiber also has a beautiful blue tint to it if you guys are able to see it. Honestly, the rear end of this car, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. but they only produce one to two a year. The technology behind this from aerodynamics to motor is absolutely inspiring. They have a spot for a custom briefcase as well as a purse on the other side. The attention to detail, there's a zipper pocket here, beautifully crafted. And another awesome thing here is in case you're pulling up under a street light, if you're unable to see the light turn red or green, they've actually installed a window up here on the roof in order for you to see. All right, we're starting to get a crowd here with how beautiful this car is, but one thing I wanted to mention, or as you like this, it's a full titanium exhaust. This is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get in this right now. Yeah. Right, so sit here, first and then, yeah, I was gonna say. Sink your butt there, you drop into the seat and pull your legs in. You may okay. want to practice it once so you look elegant. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm very elegant in anything. In a, you know, mini skirt doing it, which actually people do. <laughs> That's awfully impressive. <laughs> uh, do you mind hanging on to my phone for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, this feels good. First impression, the seat is very nice. I'm a very small person and I don't feel like it's too large on me. I sit very comfortably and I feel like down and low, but I don't have any vision issues being as short as I am. Paddle shifters are connected to the steering wheel, not the column. This was stylized um, based off of an LMP1 car where it's not going to be so reflective where you're blind at night, but it's lightly going to display. So to give you guys an idea of all the lights that pop up, this is the dash here. And smartphone ready, if you put in your phone, your phone pops up on the full display as well. Harness with a seatbelt clip. <laughs> That's amazing. This is a very comfortable car. Very comfortable. I would love to drive this, but I can't right now. <laughs> All right, now time to unsoadequately get out of this car. <laughs> I'm mind blown. Like even this little fly likes it. <laughs> Sticker price of about 2.2 mil. <laughs> I'm super excited also to introduce you guys to the managing director, Jim Glickenhaus. Hey, it's a real pleasure and uh, thank you so much for showing our car and it's a very beautiful wonderful thing it's a 
road version of a race car and uh, we just appreciate you taking a look at it. This has been an amazing experience for me. I'll put the information in the description below if you want to check it out, but whoa. <laughs> To clarify, Jim is the G on SCG, Jim Glickenhaus, the managing director. You just met him in the flesh. I have to be honest, the managing director, Jim Glickenhaus, that was a mouthful to say. <laughs> I did that on the first take though. All right guys, we're going in the top secret garage at Thermal after you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Hey, holy hell. Holy hell. I feel like I'm in the Peterson garage right now. Yeah. Own personal car wash. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, at the top of the world right now at the thermal raceway. Do you guys check this out? I'm gonna do a 360 walk around to show you. So that's where we're at down there, and that is where I saw the SCG I did a review on. Mini golf course. The blue is the North Palm track. The green is the circuit track. All the way here on the red, which is South Palm. You guys just witnessed a 360 of this raceway. Absolutely beautiful. So if you guys remember, this is where the Michelin event was last year. This is where they set up all the lights and it was pretty and they gave me a hat, look. <laughs> oh, how amazing was all of that. The SCG just getting a tour of all the private garages and the hidden cars. The garages were pretty quick because they had to go and they wanted to show me. So it was a quick walkthrough, but wow, like pause some of those and just look at the cars. I'm out of breath. I haven't really eaten much today. I'm stopping here to film because I'm not allowed to film at the Ogera event. Whatever, you guys. But I'm gonna go eat, touch base with you in a few. <laughs> Person, but good chance I'll be driving in the near future, so we shall see. Also, amazing time with the Lamborghini squad. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> and we're leaving, leaving Thermal right now. And yeah, ready for a few hour drive home back to LA. So funny, so of all the places Alex chooses to eat. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Trying to be healthy. Veggies, cotton pow, and some type of spicy chicken. And of course, with the view of the car. <laughs> that is a wrap for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try and stay awake now for this three hour drive and it's been fun. Ciao for now. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>